So first question about visibility. This is a really foundational concept for, for OT and, and the security and the protection of these systems. What, in your opinion, does complete visibility enable in the, in the context of cybersecurity? So, Mike, it is like without knowing what you have, how would you get the solution? So visibility is very, very critical and foundation piece of cybersecurity program, right? So earlier, if I didn't know how many OT devices I have, I cannot produce the solution to, for connectivity. I cannot produce a solution to protect them behind the firewall or segmentation. So visibility is a critical part. And I, I'll tell you, uh, three years back when we started our cybersecurity journey, we had no clue how many OT devices we have in our environment. And we started with manual, um, you know, going back to the factory and collecting that in a spreadsheet, sure. um, which was a good to start with. And then we started with SRA. SRA provided us the visibility of the asset which we are onboarding in, right? But now we are in the journey of even uh, implementing XDOME at all our factory locations, which is going to give me a broader picture of every single OT device is connected into my network, sure. right? And then based on that, I can I can do segmentation. So it's, it's a critical piece for me. Mm -hmm. And so, what are some of the challenges that get in the way of attaining visibility? Um, I would say the biggest challenge would be the legacy technology. Yeah. The other one would be like a lot of machines are not even connected, right? Until and unless you manually go, physically go and like find out, oh, this is the PLC, which is not connected to my network right. sitting over here. So a lot of, lot of manual effort, a lot of physical efforts you need to do to identify those devices. So two challenges, like old technology, which cannot be detected by our new stuff, what we are implementing now, whether XTOM, whether our traditional way for active monitoring to look at it. Um, and the second one is non-connected machines. Right. Is there such a thing as shadow OT? I know everybody knows what shadow IT is, but. Yes. So I won't call it shadow OT, but yes, every single manufacturing location we have, um, we have called manufacturing maintenance team. Okay. And traditionally, they are the one who used to take care of everything within the factory, right? Connectivity of OT devices, sure. the data transfer, PLCs, HMIs, everything. IT just used to get involved when they have issue with the firewall or they don't have internet connectivity or they can't have email. So yes, they used to, we still have a maintenance department, but since we have transformed and we have established the OT program to roll it out, we work hand on hand. It's like a partnership between IT, OT, plus the manufacturing maintenance team together. Mm -hmm. So as a cybersecurity leader, why is it important, if you can explain, why it's important to understand the business value of, of OT? Exactly. So I, I imagine that informs your program. Oh, absolutely. So uh, it goes back to a question of like, why when we are doing it, the funding decision of doing anything in the cybersecurity space in OT. So you have to bring the business value on the table, right? So just give you an example. Visibility is a good example. We are rolling it out the solution like Clarity X Dome for getting a broader visibility of all OT devices in all our factories. But at the same time, we have a program, Industry 4.0. In that program, we wanted to get um, machine efficiency data. Now, some of the data, what I'm collecting from XDOME can fill that gap for that program. I'm just giving you an example. Sure. So this is a very, very big and critical use case for me to show the value to the business say, hey, this is not only protecting our asset from outside threat, but it will also gonna give you insight of your own manufacturing operation, which help you define the better planning and execution. Mm -hmm. So it's just one example. Sure. But other examples are 
very similar, right? You know, okay, why I'm doing SRA? The, the reason I'm doing SRA because I don't want to leave a, a big open hole in our infrastructure right. where tomorrow someone, some bad actor can come in and halt my entire uh, manufacturing operation, which is millions and millions of dollar loss uh, for a day. Sure. So that's the business value we need to bring it on the table. Right. I just want to go back to, you brought up legacy technology. And in this context of visibility, asset inventory, I would imagine that, you know, since these devices, you know, been there running for 10 years, 20 years, that's just the way that they were implemented and built. What are, how does that uh, get in the way of complete visibility, just this legacy technology? It does. And it will be because like these machines, which is like 15 year old, 20 year old machines, working perfectly fine as they're supposed to do. Right. We just can't replace them because they cannot talk to our technology in a current protocol, current environment, right? So, but there is a solution. There are some solutions available in the market, which we are implementing anyway, uh, can talk to the machine in a certain way and convert that into our language, which we can understand. It's like extra effort to get the visibility. Sure. But yes, uh, answering your question, it it creates additional work. <laughs> I imagine it creates a lot of work in, overall for security, patching, uh, um, everything. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And that's the whole point of having the cybersecurity program where we do visibility, the asset management, uh, incident management, the vulnerability response, and the patch, ma patch management. So it's like everything is all tied together. Right. Another piece of that is is remote access and there's oh, a absolutely. lot of demand for additional access now given oh. that we've connected everything to oh, the Oh, absolutely. Internet. Absolutely. We don't want anybody to just have an open access to our network and connect to our machines without us knowing what they are doing right. and in a controlled manner. So I know you spoke about secure access here at, at Nexus. Um, any general pieces of advice, um, you know, just for managing these these remote access demands without getting in the way of business. I mean, if third parties want access, your partners, your vendors, your suppliers, internal people need remote access for maintenance. Uh, I would say the partnership, okay? Yeah. So this is the battle I have seen, uh, you know, in my entire IT career or prior to IT, I was in engineering and I we always used to see IT as a hurdle, creating a hurdle for us. So partnership is very, very important, right? What we are bringing is the infrastructure for business to succeed. But business has to see it and business has to own it, right? So that's what I said, like you asked earlier a question about a, a shadow OT. Sure. So we brought them as a partner in this journey. So it's not IT initiative, it's an OT initiative, right? They are the one who owns it. They are the ones who actually onboard vendor into, into the SRA solution. They are the one who author every single access point inside the factory. IT managed the centralized system. But all these individual logistics on the site level and the vendor level is being managed by our manufacturing maintenance team. So partnership. Partnership, yeah. That's the key. I mean, every discussion I'm having eventually comes back to culture internally. And, and just the importance of kind of getting with business leaders and making them understand your, your needs, you understand their needs. Absolutely, absolutely. Partnership with all the stakeholders are the key of success in sure. this area. Sure. Um, so just to get back to remote access for a second, um, do you have any specific like do's and don'ts? Like obviously connecting PLCs directly to the internet, bad no-no, but I mean, are there some other more subtle things that people should or should not be doing? Yeah, so like as I as I mentioned earlier, part of this journey and different programs we are doing, segmentation is one of them, which is already segmenting our manufacturing operations, right? In a completely isolated form, implementing the zero trust on top of it. So we anyway stop having anybody have any direct connection to our factory uh, devices, any OT devices. So that definitely we should not do, we should not allow. Right. The one other thing which I see right now a pattern of is IoT. So IoT is now coming with OT. 
what what does that mean any single industrial devices which you see now the new one coming whether it's rockwell siemens they are embedding the 5g adapter on on top of it with the maintenance agreement right, right? which they are forcing you to allow them a direct access to that device via 5g internet open connection that's the challenge that's the next frontier that's the next challenge <laughs> and we are trying to address that whether it's through SRA right. or if the vendor has really solid uh, mature solution, they still have to use our firewall route. Right. No 5G, no 4G. Mm -hmm. So that's the biggest challenge I would yeah. say. But I mean, that is coming though. All these edge it's devices, the edge connections to, to networks that you don't necessarily control. Or yes. It's a problem. It's a big challenge.